Hey friends, welcome back to a very trippy episode of Vintage Story. So we le left last episode off uh, with having a medium temporal storm. So we're kind of hiding out here. I went and panicked and put down a whole bunch of slabs so they couldn't spawn in on us. And we're just hiding out in the corner, but I'm inspired. We got to make a base to take these guys on. For the temporal storms we'll, just, we'll make like a bunch a bunch of arrows maybe a, a crate of arrows up there and just see how many we can kill during a temporal storm i think that would be a lot of fun a lot better than hiding out in a bunker like this that is for sure i mean may as well have some fun with it right we'll turn into a little bit of seven days of die i guess uh and that's the the other game that actually i play on my channel that's the main game but uh really enjoying this one here and the all the aspects of it and maybe uh, being able to incorporate some of that into it too uh we could even make a moat like a, a fall pit for them so they can fall they they die from a certain height now i don't think you get as much from them if they die from a fall but i mean we could always science it and uh, see just how far they'll fall before they'll die and then be able to get that final hit in and maybe be able to even farm these guys during the temporal storms that would be pretty damn cool too we can make a fall pit like old school style so much fun uh, but I'm gonna wait this thing out here and uh, we'll see you guys in a few moments we're not much to see right here Oh, there we go. So it looks like, yeah, it's all over, guys. Whew. Uh, that was a little intense. I even got so paranoid I put this uh, slab in front of the door. So we're definitely going to have to do some fighting here. Uh, there's going to be some dudes kicking about uh, about that spawned in for sure. Um, did they spawn any in here? No, we're good. Maybe Or maybe they phased out. I swear it's some, uh, stuck around, though. Huh. Crazy. Okay. Well, there is a few nearby, but it looks like we're actually, uh, relatively safe. Now, uh, one thing I do want to build is, uh, the bloomery. So this is what we had to save the, uh, the fire clay for. So let's go take a look at that. We got 64 fire clay right there, 64 there, 64 there, and, uh, 61. <laughs> Damn it. So what we could do with those is uh, stick them together and uh, make a fire brick. Here we go. Uh, fire clay brick. And now we have to uh, fire those up. And that runs at 850 degrees Celsius. So one thing we are almost completely out of that I haven't been keeping an eye on, uh, which is a little silly, is, uh, is coal. If we go over here, uh, this is all I got. Oops, wrong, uh, wrong button there. We only have 18 brown coal, which means we're going to have to go and uh, mine some out, which is okay. We can go over to the uh, animal cave. There's a bunch over there and uh, get that going. So I'm going to fire this up. I have no idea how long these things take, but it's an entire stack, so I assume it's going to be a while. And then what we can do with these is uh, make ourselves a bloomery, which we're going to require more coal to fire those up too. Uh, so let's take a look at the handbook here. We got bloomery base and bloomery chimney. So we're going to have to make two different pieces. So four uh, fire bricks for one lid and one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twelve fire bricks in total uh, for one bloomery. And from what I understand is you actually lose bricks every time you break these. So you get some back, but you don't get all back. So uh, they're very expensive. And I, I do believe as well you have to do stuff like iron and uh, whatnot. In the bloomery so uh, yeah let's get a bunch of these made up uh, we can make glass in these I would love to make up some glass for our windows in this place um, but that's not even a priority either what I would really like to do is at least get a section of this sectioned off and uh, turned into a greenhouse and uh, for that we're gonna need glass now glass is made out of quartz so we're gonna have to keep an eye out for uh, for quartz while we're out and about too that stuff's uh, relatively easy to find uh, but we're gonna need that for glass. So yeah, it looks like it's good. It takes a while to make these fire clay bricks. <laughs> we're gonna get into a real big grind here very soon. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna let these burn out with the uh, the coal we do have because it'll burn through these uh, fire bricks and leave us with a decent amount. Uh, hopefully enough to at least make uh, one bloomery when we come back. 
So we uh, found some cool stuff here before uh, uh, the last episode. I came across a couple of uh, hidden rooms, and we got ourselves uh, some decorations here. We got ourselves a chair. We'll put that actually, yeah, you know what, right at the end of the bed. I like the way that looks. And uh, we got ourselves a uh, Chthonic, uh, I think that's how you pronounce that, planter. Uh, Chthonic? So yeah, we got a planter. I don't even know what to do with the planter. Um, I assume you fill the soil and... Um, Put a plant in it? Let's actually try that. Maybe a flower? Well, nope, that's not how you do that. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure um, how these planters are used, but uh, we'll figure that out. That's not really a priority right now. Um, possibly getting organized sometime soon is also a priority. Uh, one thing I do need to make is, um, I think, a ton of firewood. <sighs> Should I really get firewood, though, when we can get, like, brown coal very easily? I mean, is it really worth it? This brown coal burns very well. So the one other thing we need to do while we're at home, and I uh, keep forgetting, is we need to go back to our tannin containers here and uh, make this into strong tannin. So what we do, uh, once we have weak tannin, we go ahead, put another oak log in it, and then uh, seal that bad boy again. Okay, so I need a two in this one. I guess I didn't pay attention to the math, but there we go. We'll seal that one off, and uh, we'll get these other ones going. Then once we have this strong tannin in the barrel, once uh, what we do is we uh, we put the leather in it, and then uh, seal it once again, I do believe, and then we'll, we will have proper cured leather. Neat stuff. All right, I got some food going on for us here. We got uh, some poultry stew with boiled cabbage and cranberries. Not too bad of a meal, if I say so myself. Uh, we'll go ahead and set that down on the table. There we go. It's nice and warm. Uh, for this one here, we got three servings of red meat stew with boiled carrots and cranberries. <laughs> awesome. So uh, we will place that down on the table as well. There we go. We got some uh, food stuffs for ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and I... Uh, I think we'll have this red meat stew with uh, the carrots because this is our, our first carrot meal, right? Kind of exciting stuff. Whoops, there we go. Put it back. Mmm. There we go. Let's fill up that stomach. Uh, check my stats. Look at that. We're doing pretty good for all our uh, fruit, vegetables, grains, and proteins. So, uh, staying nice and healthy. Look at that. I love how the, I love how the food just kind of simmers there like that. Oh, this game is just... It's really got me drawn into it. All right, so we've managed to make 16 fired fire bricks here. So let's go ahead and uh, do some of the basics. I do believe it was like this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we got our bloomery chimney. And if we go like this, just missing one block on the bottom in the middle, uh, we will have our bloomery base. Oh, cool, our first bloomery. That's pretty neat. I'm actually going to take this coal out for now. Uh, and we may as well switch it to the bloomery because I do believe... Uh, we, we have some quartz already kicking around, so we might be able to fire that up. Or we'll at least get this thing ready. There we go. So, it's together here. Now, I guess if I, uh, click on it. Two, three. Hmm. Did I just seal it? Did I do it wrong, guys? Oh, no. I don't think you're supposed to put the top on until, uh, until you finish. I think that's what I've done wrong here. <laughs> uh, well... Let's find out how many we get back. We got seven back. We don't even have enough to uh, to build one. Ah, there we go. We just have a few finished. So yeah, let's try that again. Maybe uh, not put the top on this time. Uh, I should have really looked this one up too, but um, this one is kind of self-explanatory through the handbook itself. So uh, what do we do here? How do we load this thing up? Okay, so as far as the quartz go, they're all up in my garden. That's hilarious. As far as the uh, quartz goes, uh, clear quartz, as I understand, will give us clear glass. And uh, this other quartz will actually give us um, uh, like a smoky glass. We'll use a smoky glass for our greenhouse and the clear glass, of course, for our view. Because we want that sweet, sweet view. So uh, let's get these broken down and uh, see. Oh, okay. I guess you don't have to break these down. My bad. Wow, why would you have to break quartz down? <laughs> we could just put the chunks right into uh, the, the bloomery here. So maybe you have to put these in. Oh, you do. Oh, you put your material in. There we go. And what do we load it with? 
Hmm. I might have to do some research here. Oh, so for the bloomery, we're going to have to have black coal or charcoal. So we can't, can't actually use this for the bloomery. That's what the problem is that we're running into. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, that's interesting. What I can do then is uh, grab these out of there. And uh, damn it. I should have cut up some firewood last night. Well, that's going to be put on pause because we have to make the, uh, the most of our daytime here. So I'm going to just be lazy and... Uh, drop some of this stuff off into the metal stuff box don't really need it in there but it is what it is and uh, we're gonna head out here we're gonna go and uh, take a look at that mountain area and see if we can't see any resources sticking out uh, there we go right out of the rain and into the sunshine I love it so uh, these are the side oh wow look at the look right up there that I see something from here uh, let's go and uh, let's go and check that out that looks I don't even know what that is, actually. Uh, maybe some coal? That is flint. That is flint and chalk. That is definitely nothing that we're interested in. <laughs> okay, well, now I know what flint and chalk looks like when it's exposed like that. I haven't uh, seen that stuff in the wild, to be honest. Oh, we got ourselves uh, some fire clay over here. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. This stuff easily fills up your inventory, though, so... Uh, we're not going to bother mining some of that right now. We need it, though. We definitely need it, and a lot of it. So, uh, we still also have that huge fire clay deposit near our house, too. So, not too big, big of a deal, but I'll keep that in mind. Uh, is that something up there? Oh, it looks like I found, uh, some quartz. Look at this, right up here, just kind of poking out. So, if quartz is up this high, um, I would assume maybe hopefully tin is. I, I don't know, guys. We're just kind of going off here on a, on a whim. Oh, what's over there? Looks like there's some more quartz, but what's with the, is that is that flint in quartz? <laughs> we gotta check that out. Uh, oh wait, maybe it isn't. What do we have here? Is that some uh, valuable materials? We have native silver ore. Oh wow! What do we need for that tier uh, tier three to break? Damn it! So we can't even we can't even use the silver ore. But uh, what I'm gonna do then? Uh, because uh, I'm assuming this is a rare er ore, is I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark this on the minimap. Wow, there's a lot of it over here. Look at that. I wonder how big these ore deposits are, because like this one looks like it's actually cut off right here. Uh, like, kind of in between how it spawned in, all weird. Alright, well, uh, I guess since we need some quartz, I may as well poke around it and uh, see what I can find. We can't, we can't break quartz. What am I talking about? Tier 3 bronze. Still not paying attention on that one. Wow, sorry guys. Failed you there. Uh, we can still collect these quartz bits though. Uh, that seem to appear around this area. Here we go. Is this another one? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, let's grab up a few of those then. What does that give us here? Quartz chunk. Okay, so that's going to uh, give us our, um, our smoky glass. Oh wow, look at this area in here. This is actually, this is kind of nice, all nice and hidden up in here. It looks like there's a, a crazy formation going on over here. This is uh, some more of that flint and chalk. Wow, if you're, uh, if you're just starting out, this would actually be a pretty good area. Although, uh, at night you would have those uh, drifters dropping on you from random areas, I guess, on these edges. But um, other than that, look at this area. It's actually really nice in here. I like this, a little bit of a, a hidden valley. Uh, just keeping an eye out here for as many resources as I can find. Looks like we got some. Oh, cool. We got a little cave going on in here. Oh, this is neat. Oh, let's check this out. It doesn't look like that uh, goes through any ores, but still kind of still kind of cool. Let's see where this leads. Oh, right up here. Nice little view. Oh, my God. This area is sick. I really, really like that. Look at that wolf over there just chilling out. Wow, this would have been a great starting place. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, uh, let's let's continue on then. I guess I'm going to uh, look through here. This, Yeah, look at it on the map too. You can see it. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, it looks like there's a cave over there too. May as well check that out. Whoa, look at this, guys. I found another room right away. Oh, this would have been a sick starting area. Imagine that, just wandering in here, finding a room right away. 
Damn. That is cool. Okay, well, let's get this lit up over here. Looks like there's a little bit of a cave. A little bit of a cave that way, so I'm going to light it up over here too. Good thing I brought all of my torches. There we go. Uh, and I do believe I also have my lantern. Nice. Let's go see what's up in this room in here, if there's anything cool. Oh, whoa. Oh, no way. We f what? Look at the size of this place. There's a bunch of firewood in here. Uh, what's this? Omok tabletop. Age wooden table. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. Spider web. Do we get anything from harvesting that? Oh, har yeah, get actual spider web out of the deal. Oh, that's sick. I don't know if you have to harvest it, but I'm going to do that anyway, just to be safe. Um, oh, that is cool. What do we have here? The tabletop? Yeah, we got to grab that thing up. Uh, an aged wooden table. Whoa. Whoa, there's even more to this place. This is unreal. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a metal torch holder. Damn right, we're going to grab one of those. Those are uh, very handy. We have two metal torch holders. <laughs> uh, a slightly collapsed chest. Let's see what's uh, let's see what's in this chest here. Uh, we have, whoa, did I just pick something up? What did I pick up? A scroll written in a strange alphabet. If only I knew what, the se what secret it holds. Uh, snow goggles. Whoa, okay. Uh, where do these go? These go right on the head, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I like the silver one better, but we'll, we'll hold on to those. And uh, wool lined knee high boots. Oh damn, those are a lot nicer than what we have now. Yeah, we got we got to get rid of those shoes. Get out of here, boots. I don't want you anymore. You're my starter boots anyway. Nobody wants you. Well, maybe that uh, maybe that drifter over there might. Peasant slippers. Pfft. There we go. Let's make a little bit of a wall so we don't get bothered. Haha. -ha. Nothing you can do about it, bud. I can actually can I hit you through there? Nope, but oh well. That's cool. They can stay over there. They can't get us. Uh, let's go do some more exploring in here. This is so cool. We have uh, a fired bowl over here. Uh, for science purposes, I'm going to break one of these, uh, one of those. Yeah, there we go. We'll break this bowl, too. Oh, my God. There is so much stuff. What do we have? Storage vessel fired. Uh, oh, it's just a storage vessel. Wow, okay. Uh, we have another waged, uh, waged, aged wooden table over here. Oh, this place is so cool. And it spawned in, the, like, the coolest spot, too. Like, there's so much stuff in here. And then there's even more downstairs. Like, I'm... I'm so excited here. I don't know what to do. Uh, we, we, of course, got to get rid of a few more things here then. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, throw our stuff at the drifters over here then. Okay, what do we have here? We have bookshelves. Uh, can we take these with us? Oh, we can. Oh, we have bookshelves at home now. And if I hadn't, like, taken that stuff out, I would have never noticed the spider web over here. Or, uh, these stairs over here, the ladder. That is so cool. There's, like, a little hidden place. And then we have, uh, Tapestry, The Morning. Oh, we had Nightfall, and now we have The Morning. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, like, if I found this early game, I could actually use this area as a nice little fire pit and stuff in here. It's full of firewood. Wow, that would have been a gold mine. Like, it's just nice and, like, we wouldn't even have to do anything, really, other than uh, just clear it out a little bit. Ah, oh, this is so cool. What happens if we, uh, we hold this in our hand here? Whoa! Discovered lore letters. Part the zero of eight. Hit J to open your... Oh. There's nothing in there. Is that not working yet? Did I just waste that? That's, that's That was kind of disappointing. <laughs> oh, well. Like I say, guys, it is what it is. All right, let's go see what's down here. Let's see what uh, treasures behold us. Oh, my God. Look at all the stuff down here. What, we have some bones going on, a whole ton of spider webs. Uh, thank God there's no spiders. Uh, but yeah, we got a whole ton of spider webs. Uh, it looks like it's just like a little bit of a storage down here. 
Um, oh, what's this? A wooden crate. Hmm. I wonder what kind of treasures that gives. So these uh, spider webs, do they slow us down? They do slow us down while we're moving through them. Uh, so what we can use these as is uh, is for fall pits, I think. I think this will uh, safely stop our falls. So uh, if we have like a, a mine we have to get down to, we don't want to use a ladder, just uh, a one by one hole, uh, uh, one or two of these at the bottom and uh, safe falls. I don't know how long it'll take you to get out of, but it's pretty cool. Uh, so we have some more age stuff in here too. We're gonna have to come back here and, uh, and farm this out. Okay, uh, where are we here? I'm gonna mark this right here. Really cool. Uh, hidden room. There we go. Uh, we're gonna make this red. And what can I use the icon for? There's ruins. Ah, yeah. We'll use the uh, the ruin symbol. Nice. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, let's break this thing open here. Uh, oh, we could take this with us. Cool. Um. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. It is what it is. Uh, we got a large. Wow, look at all the junk. Okay, so let's get rid of our uh, flint knife here. We got, what, three metal scraps off that pile. Okay, I don't even know what we can do with those metal scraps yet, but it still excites me. Okay, there we go. So I think I got all of I, the, all that I can out of the basement here. Let's uh, take these bony soil out. And yeah, there's chalk rock underneath it. So I'm assuming this is all this place has to offer, but damn. What a nice little hidden cave area. This is so sick. We'll have to come back here too and uh, grab some of this firewood. I mean, why not? Oh, this, the, oh we got to bring this home. Uh, what can we get rid of? Uh, we have a couple bowls. I guess we could sacrifice uh, some flint. And maybe some food. Yeah, okay. Uh, we, we, I can make this work. All right, there we go, guys. Let's head her home. I should be able to grab all three pieces. Yeah, we're gonna have another um, Tapestry for our walls now damn guys. We're uh, we're pimping out my pad here already This is pretty sick still haven't found friggin tin, but every time I go out It's a little bit of a different adventure. Uh, that's what I really like about this game So I got a little bit of a cruise home here guys. I'll see you back there. Well, it looked like the uh, the drifters took off. I keep seeing rabbits trying to come after my garden now. I think it's because I have the uh, the carrots up in there. Uh, but it does look like I have a ton of farming to do. It looks like we got a lot of finished foods, and I really can't waste time harvesting stuff like grain and, and what right now. Just I mean, not harvesting it when it's ready. Uh, but let's get back inside first things first here. We got another awesome tapestry to put down. So I think I'm going to put this one uh, right beside it, actually. There we go. We have uh, day, night, and then I don't know what the next one's going to be. I don't know how many of these there are, but um, there we go. We'll stick that one there and this one in the middle. There we go. So we got the morning, we got nightfall, and uh, who knows what will come up. Oh, that looks so cool. I love it. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a whole ton of stuff. Uh, I think this crate here, it says crate closed, um, I think it's just a decoration. Uh, I don't think you can actually use it um, as a storage or anything. So we're going to stick that for now just to, just to have the decoration. Uh, the planter is on the ground, still don't know how to use that. Uh, we have a couple of metal torch holders, which means we can actually uh, light it up a little bit in here without using up our, uh, our lantern. There you go, let's get that out of our hand. Uh, maybe put one here. Oh, yeah, put one there. And they both match, too, which is a super bonus. There we go. One there. One there. And the animation's not working again. It's a little bit of a weird bug. So, some, I think the one time... Yeah, there we go. We left and came back and the animation was working. <laughs> That's a little goofy, but, hey, it works. Damn, look at this place. Starting to look pretty swanky, if I say so myself. Uh, I have two um, aged wooden tables, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, and put these down. There we go. Those uh, I like the look of them. It's rustic, you know what I'm saying? You know what I could do? What I'm going to do is take this corner table out here. Um, we'll take this food, take this table, and uh, put a chair here. 
There we go. And put the table right there. There we go. So we got two chairs there and uh, the table going across this way. Oh, I like that. That is so cool. Uh, I can actually put this down here in the middle of the room so we have a little bit more light. Those torches, they, they don't... They look cool, but they honestly really don't put off a lot of light. Damn, there's so much stuff to do. I want to make more light for our place. Like, yeah, damn. Uh, I'm going to put up a little bit of spider uh, spider web just to uh, make it look a little authentic here. We've been here for a little while, so uh, it's starting to get a, a little unkempt. Uh, that's a little dangerous. I don't, you know, I don't even know. I don't even like the way that looks, to be honest. Okay, uh, maybe maybe one or two up in here. There we go, and we'll uh, we'll store the rest. <laughs> this is so cool, giving a little bit of detail to the place. Oh my God, I'm nerding out right now. Okay, so you have some more uh, scrap metals. Did that go into the right pile? Nope, scrap metals are in here. There we go. So we now have a total of uh, four scrap metal. Uh, I'm assuming maybe you can melt this stuff down, but uh, we'll take a look at that here in the future. Uh, we got this Amok tabletop. So I'm assuming this is this is a uh, this is a game maybe. There we go. Yeah, it looks like a, a game. So there we go. We have a game over here, uh, the chair setups, and uh, the pot of cooked food. <laughs> I really like how this place is coming together. All right, time to get that inventory organized. So we have here actually two bookshelves. So what I'm going to do, uh, I think I mentioned this in the last episode, was I plan on making this go up this way. Uh, what we could do here is actually use these bookshelves as a backer for that. So I'll run the ladders up uh, this bookshelf. I think that'll look pretty neat. Yeah, there we go. So now we have a ladder up to the second floor and uh, I think that's a good place to actually store um, all of my tannin. We can put the tannin up there. So I'm going to grab up some slabs here. Do we have any kicking around? We do. We have some oak slabs. So I'm going to use those for the floors, of course, uh, to match these ones here. And uh, we're going to put them up at the top. Are these are uh, set for horizontal? Oops. Pressing the wrong buttons here. Sorry, guys. Uh, switching back and forth between games can really mess you up. So the placement mode is auto. Uh, we want only horizontal. There we go. Sweet. Get a second floor to this place, too. And, oh, I only made one of them. And on top of that, it will stop the rain in this room. Ah, there we go. No more rain. We have a roof looking pretty damn good. I'm actually going to move this, uh, this holder right here. Uh, right beside the door. Yeah, we'll put it right here. I think it'll look a, uh, a lot better over in the corner. Let's run out of the room. There we go. Uh, we'll also get rid of this one over by the door, too. It's kind of... I don't think it looks very good over there. And where should I put this one here? Um, I think it would look proper right here, just because it's beside the ladder and stuff. So there we go. Run out of the room. Run back in. Uh, I'm assuming they'll, they'll get to that bug eventually, but hey, look at that. There we go. Our place is looking real cool now. Uh, no more rain. We got some bookshelves in here looking classy as heck. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get this done this episode. Still looking for that damn tin, guys. Uh, but we could just keep running across really cool stuff. So is this tannin done yet? Let's take a look at that. Uh, sealed for 18 of 24 hours. So it needs like four more hours. Uh, or four more. Six more hours. So let's actually go ahead and just get some sleep here. We'll sleep through the night. Whoops. If I remember how to sleep. Alright, there we go. Nice and early in the morning. Gonna go ahead and uh, grab myself up some of that foods. We're gonna do the uh, the poultry stew, I think. There we go. Nice and uh, delicious and filling. There we are. Uh, nice very diet already, too. Like, look at our homestead. It's looking pretty damn cool. We even have cobwebs in our homestead. Ah, so our barrel of uh, strong tannin is done. So I don't think you can move these. I think they have to stay here like this while you're doing it. I really don't want to risk it. Uh, so if I'm correct, what you do is you uh, grab up your leather here. So let's go ahead. We have uh, nine large hides. Uh, so we're going to open this up. We're going to put one hide in. It'll give one of uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Will it... Oh, Whoa. Will it do all of those in one? Hmm. Oh, it just says the contents of it. Okay, so uh, it's not going to do the math for us. Let's open up the handbook here and uh, look at leather. I'm going to go after everything here. Uh, so leather is created in the barrel using uh, small, medium, large. Uses six strong tannin. 
Okay, so uh, this has 20 liters, so we can do three large in the, uh, each of these. There we go, and we'll seal that up. Okay, so it doesn't seem like I can actually do this here. I'm going to take one second. I think I have to make the match or the math actually match what's in the, uh, the barrel here. So I'll have to keep that in mind next time I do some leather stuff. Oh, wow. Uh, so what we have to do is we actually have to prepare these hides. Um, I'm just trying to put a, uh, a rawhide in there. Ooh, that is not the way to do that. Okay, so uh, what we got to do is we got to take our knife and uh, a soaked hide. So what we got to do in a barrel is uh, soak our hide up. Wow, I've been doing this wrong the entire time. At least we have this uh, ready and prepared for us. But we're going to have to make ourselves some more barrels and uh, get some lime water going on uh, along with the, the raw hide itself. Yeah, I was like skipping a whole bunch of steps, guys, which is good, though. I mean, I'm learning. You're learning. Uh, we're learning together, which is pretty exciting. So... Yeah, we'll have to go through a few more steps, but we do have our leather floor up there, so I can start getting some uh, stuff going up there right away once I have some barrels. Yeah, look, look at it. It's trying to get to my uh, my carrots, but it can't because it's also it's in water and it can't get over that fence. So, screw you, rabbit. Let's go out and uh, do some far farming here, guys. I'm gonna have to end the episode with this, unfortunately. Uh, we will be back for another one here uh, tomorrow, guys. Uh, but it is a ton of fun. I am enjoying the heck out of this game. I hope you guys are. Uh, if you guys are playing the... Oh, damn. I think I just took out a, a not mature one. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the game, too, let me know down in the comments. It's always good to hear from fellow fans of the game. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Stay classy. No matter what you people say, I'm going to do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm going to do my thing much better than you know. Oh, do. oh boy, you're out of luck It's gonna roll right off of me Like water off the back of a duck And I go Yeah, I go Yeah, 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 I go